But at the same time, I think um, Security Breach, uh, although the story's kind of a bit meh, uh, I think it was it was good in like giving us a lot of questions and mysteries, some of which could be solved. Like um, we we've talked about the whole Golden Freddy Cassidy thing, mm -hmm. Princess Quest, uh, and the Bonnie thing. Like there's there's a lot of mysteries there that that have been solved, and it's kind of still setting up. The next game or the dlc or whatever's to come next i think um, that could explain our mysteries i think that dlc is definitely next what and i don't know yeah. i i feel like the dlc will either be like there's more after this or there's nothing after this like i think dlc is like the either the end or just the next part of the story you mean the end of all of FNAF? I don't believe that. You mean no, definitely not. Definitely not. That's not what I meant. I meant like uh, like the end of like this story arc with Vanny, Afton, Gregory, F Freddy. Oh, I hope so. I hope so, dude. Like, I don't... Yeah. It also, like... The problem with DLC is like it's also like with, what, seven endings in the game? <laughs> yeah. And, with, and that's the other thing as well. Like, which one is is... is... It's watch it be watch it be inter game um like intra game DLC. Where it's what? like, hey, we added this new area that's optional that you can go to, and it's like, it's not a continuation. It's just like more tidbits. Oh, oh another ending, that. another <laughs> ending, an and ending. another ending, of course. Yeah. They need um, to do. They need to do the arcade things. I think. Yeah. Which the ending do you guys think mystery. is canon? Oh, mm. definitely. Um, Princess Quest. Really? You think three stars? Yeah. I'm also with Ozon on that one. Ooh, okay. You theft. Really? I don't yeah. buy that. Right, right, what, what, do you, what do you think? What do you think? It's gotta be the Afton ending. It's okay. Gotta... It's it's one of the two, I think. So, yeah, it's I think one of the two, but I wanna I definitely am signing with the Afton ending, but the problem is that I would want the Princess Quest to also be a part yes, of the Yes, because then it's okay. over. As in, like, both <laughs> happening simultaneously, but we don't know if that's possible or not. I oh. think that uh, the af uh, the Afton ending isn't canon. However, I, I know why people think it is canon, because, like, the animated cutscene is... It's yeah, that's but they that's were, the they, but they were all supposed to have animated cutscenes, not just... Yeah, I buy that, and so it's sort of, hmm. you know, sure, it, it's... And, and yeah, there are sort of sprinkled in fully CGI cutscenes throughout some of the other endings, and I definitely think that was a time constraint. I never thought it was because of the fully animated cutscene. That's suspicious now that you think about it, but I, I thought it's just because it's their perfect ending, right? Where Vanny's apparently still out there, still all messed up. Vanessa's all messed up with Vanny, presuming that they're the same person. Um, we see Burn Trap. What the hell is it? Burn Trap get yeah. taken away but we don't see him destroyed right Why would of he? course um, <laughs> he always comes back so you, right so, so you have sort of this sort of perfect out where it's like oh it was satisfying we stuck it to afton and if they want they can make that afton's demise yeah. for real and go with vanny but if they don't they can bring him back at some capacity now yeah. on the other side you could still do that with the princess quest ending Vanny is free, but theoretically the glitch still exists. I just, I don't really buy that because with Vanny's free and the, then she and Gregory can just like go take care of the glitch at that. Like that would be the first thing that they would do presumably. So just in terms of story continuation, it definitely doesn't feel like the final end. And because it's not the final end, the Afton ending sort of checks off the most boxes for me. Plus it's like, you know, it's it's it feels satisfying it's like the ending you get when you've defeated the animatronics and you've you know done like the core stuff in the game minus maybe a bunch of picking up stuff uh, i'll i'll admit yeah i think you're right on that it feels a lot more satisfying in a way or, or correct for uh william to have been quote unquote killed off maybe maybe not in that ending and vanny's still out there then vanny being freed but him still chilling in the basement you know yeah that's why i think if, i think a lot of people were buying into this notion that maybe patient 46 is some to be announced unknown villain but matt pat said it himself we're like okay that's cool if they're introducing someone new but it's it's inherently underwhelming to find out that like hey this big final mystery of security breach isn't solvable it's not even a character you've seen yet i just don't really buy that they would do that i mean okay like, 
all of security which is kind of unsatisfying. <laughs> not all yeah. of it. Okay, not that's, all of it. That's but... a fair point. Uh, my my problems with the Afton ending being canon are. <laughs> I, I uh, this is gonna be really difficult to explain. Um, I don't think that Afton is dead in that ending. No. Of um, not. and the fact that he isn't dead in that ending would mean that like getting that ending and making that ending canon means nothing happened really in Security Breach. Like in terms of storyline, what happened that there was just this kid Gregory, he destroyed loads of animatronics and then went down to see Afton and went back up That's again. That's a like, good point. It's a very nothing, yeah. happened. nothing happened. But if the Princess Quest ending is canon, I personally feel like it's kind of the at least the beginning of the end of Glitch Trap. And and I feel like it is like a huge turning point there with okay. like freeing Vanny slash Vanessa. And I feel like that's the end of Vanny. Um, mm-hmm. And she's but I, I don't know. Basically, like she yeah, can't cause any more harm just if from a storyline standpoint, I do see your points, but I feel like if if <laughs> I feel like more happened in Princess Quest than after an ending. Fair. Oh, I That's agree, fair. and it is the three star ending. But what's the precedent in the previous games? It was always safe to assume that everything that occurred was canon, right? Like um, even past five, yeah, until custom night, the literal custom night stuff. But like everything up through then, yeah, is um, yeah, going to be canon. I like. I think. I that... think we were told what was canon or not. Yeah, like, like I mean, I most think... games up to like four or so, it didn't really matter because everything basically happened. If if it wasn't canon, we were told it wasn't. Like some of the Halloween. Oh, characters. it's Pizzeria Simulator. That's but, the first one that had like serious multiple endings. Yeah, oh, yeah. Pizzeria Simulator. You can assume only one of those is canon, and then Sister Location. We were told this is a fake ending. Everything yeah, contained exactly. in this ending. Everything contained in this ending can and does exist, but the events of the ending do not happen. I right, think the I FNAF three yeah. bad ending is canon. Yeah. Um, that's still a tough one. I think it's canon, and I think both of them are canon. It's just at different times. Yeah, and so definitely. this is this is this is gets to my problem with FNAF and FNAF three. I have a whole issue with the fact that FNAF three takes place in the future relative relative to us, and Fazbear Entertainment is like Dunskies, and then yeah. Help Wanted happens, and like indeterminate time passes, and now they're like bigger Back than they business. ever were. Especially after FNAF six, like not just FNAF three, but FNAF six, they were, I guess, somewhat operational, but should have been absolutely done then. And then right. Help Wanted comes around, they're back in business. Right, swing. and I, like I, I, I can hand wave that away, but it's just it becomes so implausible that it's like, and all this lore, and again, like earlier we mentioned, like yeah, the, the crying child has potential three potential deaths, and if they're Gregory, an infinite amount because you can die a bunch of security breach, but. I mean, like, that to me is, is it's a barrier to entry to the games. It's prohibitive. You know what I mean? Yeah. 